Hi guys! Did you know that the Bamboo Lab P1P 3D printer is also compatible with the AMS unit and with it can print with up to 16 colors? In this video we will show you how to connect the AMS unit to the P1P 3D printer. You want to know all the details? Then stay tuned! Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Rui and this is the Rui Raptor YouTube channel. If you want to help us out, you can by giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also help by joining our Patreon page or by clicking on any of the affiliate links posted below in the video description. So, while for the X1 Carbon you can buy the printer plus AMS as a combo, for the P1P there is no such option available yet. So if you want the AMS unit, you need to get it separately. The AMS unit can be found under the Accessories tab on Bamboo Labs website. In there, you can also find some replacement parts for the AMS and also the buffer and the hub. If you only want one AMS and print with up to four colors, then you don't need to buy anything else other than the AMS unit. However, if you want to connect multi AMS units and print with more than four colors, then you need to buy the AMS hub. This unit is the one that will connect the printer to each AMS unit. With the AMS, there's a small box that includes the buffer, a couple of cables, a spare filament cutter for the printer and screws and a bag with the user manual and several PTFE tubes. Once you receive your AMS unit, you first need to unpack it and get it ready for installation. Inside the AMS, there are four reusable filament spools that can be used either to wind filament from other spools that don't fit the AMS or to use with Bamboo Labs filaments that are shipped without spool. Next, we need to open the two desiccant compartments and remove the desiccant bag from the plastic. If you plan on installing the AMS unit on top of the printer, and since the P1P does not have any panels, you will need to download and print the AMS holder that Bamboo Lab has available on their wiki page. You will need to print a couple of them and you can use PLA filament. These parts will sit at the top and at the sides of the printer and if you already have the light upgrade, don't worry because the holders will not interfere with it. Ok, now for the installation. With the printer turned off, start by installing the buffer unit at the back of the printer. Attach the bottom side of the buffer first so that the latch can go in the slot and then use a couple of screws to secure it to the printer. With the buffer installed, you will lose the ability to use the printer's spool holder. So you can either remove the spool holder or just leave it. Next, take the 4 pin cable and connect the AMS unit to the printer. Make sure the connector is fully inserted. Then, take the AMS and lay it on the table like this. Take the AMS holder pieces and attach them to the sides of the AMS with this orientation. And then, while grabbing the AMS and the holders at the same time, place them on the printer with the PTFE tube facing the back side and pushed forward. The tube from the AMS unit is connected at the left side of the buffer. Make sure the tube is fully inserted. The AMS also included several PTFE tubes of different lengths. For the next step, we will need the longest one. Before installing this one, remove the small tube from the fitting on the printer's side. And also the fitting that came with the long tube. And then insert one edge in the fitting on the printer's side and the other edge on the buffer like this. Make sure the tube is fully inserted here as well. 
The remaining 6 pin cable will connect the buffer to the AMS unit. OK, we are now ready to turn the printer on and check if everything is working correctly. The first indication you get is the lights on each feeder on the AMS that should start blinking. The second indication is on the printer's display. It should show the AMS indication here at the right. Before we start loading the filament and run some 3D prints, there's a few things you need to check. One is that the AMS unit with the holders easily slide back and forth on the printer. We recommend using some double side tape or some zip ties to secure the AMS in place. Next, home the printer and run the leveling sequence. Just to make sure that the cable and PTFE tube coming from the print head move freely under the AMS unit. OK, we are now ready to load some filament. Just take the filament tip, push the feeder carefully and insert the filament. The AMS should now detect the filament and start pulling it. On Bamboo Studio software, you should now see the AMS here at the right side and also the indication that a filament spool was placed on slot number 3. Clicking on it, you can set up the filament type and color. Everything is ready. You can now load the filaments you want and start your prints. For the first test, we decided to use a print and place model and paint it with four different colors on Bamboo Studio Slicer. And then we printed it with PLA filament. The AMS takes care of all the filament changes and does the purges to make sure that no contamination from previous filament is mixed with the new one. And this is the result. A very nice multicolor print. If you want to know more about other official P1P upgrades and how to install them, check our other video. You can find the link below in the video description. And that's it you guys. Thanks for watching. We will see you guys next time. Bye.